Good evening, and welcome to the Township Committee meeting of uh, May the 10th, 2016. Ms. Bork, will you please call the roll? Committee Member Schatz? Here. Committee Member McCauley? Committee Member Thompson? Deputy Mayor Sirachi? Here. Mayor Delcor? Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. Here. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Laws of 1975, that notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on May the 10th of 2016. First on our agenda is approval of minutes. Um, we have the April 26, 2016 regular session meeting minutes. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes of the April 26, 2016 regular session. So moved. Have a second. Second. Roll call, please. Mayor Member Schatz. Yes. Committee, uh, Deputy Mayor Sarachi. Abstain. And Mayor Delcor. Roll. Uh, yes. Uh, reports from <coughs> committee liaisons. First up, uh, Committee Member Schatz. Thank you, Mayor. From the Police Department, congratulations to Hillsborough Township Police Officers, Patrolman Stephen Nowacki and Patrolman Scott McCarthy on being named the 2016 Top Cop Award recipients. The Hillsborough Township Police Department continues this program intended to recognize the performance of its top rated officers. Each year, one officer from, from each of the two patrol squads are elected to elected or selected as top cops. This award is unique because it's primarily based on evaluations to the officer perfor officer's performance by both their peers and their supervisors. These two veteran officers are being recognized for their excellence in the police service. Road construction. Uh, beginning tonight, Tuesday, May 10th, through Friday, May 13th, from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m., there will be an overnight paving on the Millstone River Road, weather permitting. A detour is being established between Amwell Road and Amsterdam Road, Please proceed with caution and allow extra time through that area. From the Recreation Department, uh, registration is now open through, through the Recreation Department through the, for the annual Salute to Veterans Breakfast. I believe Mayor DeCor will be announcing who the 2016 Grand Marshal will be in just a little bit. Uh, all veterans, spouses, and widows are invited to the breakfast, which will be held on Saturday, May 28th. Any young nonprofit or youth organization wishing to march in the parade can also register with the Recreation Department. The deadline to register is Wednesday, May 25th. The parade kicks off at 1030 at the corner of Auten and New Amwell Road. And finally, for recreation, registration for all summer programs and, and the 2016 Summer Recreation Camp is ongoing through the Recreation Department. The camps will be held June 20th to August 12th at various locations around the town. <coughs> Full camp information registration for all recreation programs is available on the recreation website. From the building department, as a reminder to all Hillsborough Township food service industry businesses, as well as those which provide food service to the schools and businesses, please be sure all liquid carbon dioxide systems are registered with the New Jersey Department of Labor. These systems, which put carbonation in beverages, also known as pressure vessels, are regulated by the New Jersey Department of Labor. Welcome to New Jersey. And the New Jersey Uniform Construction Code. Systems must be inspected by the New Jersey Department of Labor and require fire permit and, construction and a permit from the construction office prior to installation. Attention property owners, developers, and businesses. The New Jersey State Legislature has elected not to extend the Permit Extension Act of 2008 which because of economic struggles suffered by, suffered by construction industry stopped the clock on the time remaining to be begin the work on the, on the permit, on the permitted project. Before the permit has expired, the grace period ending June 30th, 2006 is now in place. Any pr pr approved permit carries a one-year time frame for which work must be vested 
meaning work has substantially begun and has at least one progress inspection during the last six months. Any permit issued before June 15th, June 2015 will become invalid and deemed expired if not invested by the end of the grace period. To commence work on an invalid or expired permit, you'll be required to submit a new permit application for review and approval. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. <coughs> Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. A few items this evening. Uh, <clears throat> just a quick reminder from the clerk's office that uh, May 17th is the voter registration deadline uh, if you wish to vote in the June primary elections. Uh, this will be the last opportunity to register to vote uh, for the primary. To obtain the application to register to vote or to vote by mail, uh, please visit uh, the state election website. And their website is njelections, it's one word, dot org. Uh, regarding rabies clinics, uh, the local health departments in our area are sharing information about <coughs> rabies vaccination clinics in order to encourage residents uh, to have their pets protected against the rabies virus. Uh, rabies is present in the wildlife in New Jersey. Uh, it's mostly in, uh, in raccoons, bats, skunks, foxes, and groundhogs. Um, it is transmitted through saliva and central nervous system. Um, flu becomes infected or, and it can be, as you know, uh, fatal. So the best defense against rabies is a current rabies vaccination um, uh, for domestic pets. And currently, uh, or coming up this weekend, Bridgewater Township uh, will be offering vaccination clinics for dogs and cats. And the clinics are open to all New Jersey residents, so you don't need to be a resident of Bridgewater. Um, starting this Saturday, May 14th. And uh, for times and locations, either please uh, look at the Health Department's webpage or in this Friday's e-news. And lastly, even though I know it doesn't feel like it, but uh, the Hillsborough uh, branch of the Somerset County Library System has begun their summer hours. Um, so beginning this last Sunday, uh, if you tried to get to the library, you probably saw that it was closed. So uh, part of their summer hours is they will be closed on Sundays, and that will run through <coughs> September 4th um, of this year. And additionally, the library will also be closed on May 24th and May 30th. Uh, for Saturday, May 28th, uh, the library will have a delayed opening with regards to the uh, Memorial Day uh, uh, ceremonies that we'll be having. Um, and on that day, they will be open starting at 12.30 p.m. And just to let you know that the operational hours are established by Somerset County. And that's all I have for this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, a couple items for me tonight. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank PAC 189 Den 3. Uh, they visited me last week for a visit in the mayor's office. Uh, I always get a kick out of seeing the Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts come in and uh, do a tour of the building, uh, ask me questions about what goes on uh, in municipal government, and uh, they always ask pretty amazing questions. So it's uh, quite surprising how, how uh, insightful the, uh, the young kids are. But they come in did a little tour in the courtroom as well. They bang the gavel and uh, get a kick out of that. So I'd just like to thank them for, uh, for letting me visit with them uh, here in the mayor's office. Um, as uh, committee member Shett noted, um, Memorial Day Parade is coming up and that means uh, we will announce our, our Grand Marshal. And it is my privilege to announce that retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Fred Quick will lead uh, Hillsborough's 2016 Memorial Day commemoration ceremonies on May the 28th. Veteran Quick is a lifetime resident of Hillsborough, attending Hillsborough Township schools from kindergarten through the eighth grade. He then attended Somerville High School and went on to Rutgers University, my alma mater as well. He joined the Air Force in 1953 and retired as Lieutenant Colonel in 1981. During his tenure in the Air Force, he flew cargo planes from Dover Air Force Base to various destinations throughout the world. It's our distinct privilege here in Hillsboro to honor our veterans at the Salute to Veterans Breakfast and by having them lead our parade. Our Grand Marshal will provide comments during our Garden of Honor ceremony, which occurs just after the, uh, the conclusion of the parade. Mr. Quick has been a dedicated community member not only during his military career, but also has served the township and county in a number of various volunteer capacities, including a Rotary member 
and have served on many boards and commissions over the past 40 years. As noted, all Hillsborough veterans are invited to participate in the 11th Salute to Veterans Breakfast and to lead Hillsborough's uh, Memorial Day Parade and Commemoration Program on the 28th. Registration is required for the breakfast and can be completed online at the Township's Park and Recreation website or by calling our Parks and Rec Department at 908-369-4832 uh, to, uh, to register. This year's commemorative program will kick off with a salute to Veterans Breakfast at the uh, building here at 7.30 a.m., followed by the parade, which begins at 10.30 a.m. at the intersection of Loyal Auten and Triangle Roads. The salute, to breakfast, the salute to Veterans Breakfast will be held on the 28th, rain or shine. Um, the parade, if there is a rain date, uh, will be held on Sunday, May the 29th, both the parade and the Garden of Honor ceremonies. And the Garden of Honor ceremony will commence at 11.15, and it will conclude the formal events for the day. We warmly invite all veterans, spouses, and widows to provide their leadership and join us on May the 28th in commemorating this very, very important day uh, for our country. The uh, annual Green Living and Wellness Fair will be held on Saturday, June the 4th in conjunction with the Hillsboro YMCA Hop 5K. Two years ago, we added a green and sustainable element to the annual health fair. This year, in an effort to continue to grow the program, we have added an element by partnering with the, the Hillsboro Hop. Participating local businesses will have informative presentations, displays, and demonstrations to raise awareness of the many facets of living a healthy lifestyle, including making sound nutritional choices, making long-term life planning decisions, choosing a green lifestyle, as well as many health screenings. Robert Wood Johnson Somerset will be conducting a blood drive in the Senior Activity Center. So please mark your calendars to attend the fair and also consider giving the gift of life and donating blood at that drive. There will be a poster contest open to all school-age Hildor residents to design a Living Green themed poster. Be sure to see the information which will be available in this Friday's e-newsletter. Those organizations wishing to participate in the fair must register in advance by calling our health department 908-369-5652. And if you'd like to register for the YMCA Hop 5K, um, I believe we'll likely have a couple of township committee members. So if you want to say you can beat them in a 5K, please register on the YMCA's website. Uh, if you want to stay connected uh, to what's going on in town, as always, if you want to see any photos from the evening um, or see what's, uh, what's happened at the meetings or in town, please connect yourselves with our e-newsletter. There's forms in the back if you'd like to register. We also are available on Twitter, uh, Hillsborough Township. We have our own YouTube channel, and uh, uh, we also have TB29 for cable subscribers, for, as well as Nixle and Honeywell alert systems. So uh, please sign up for any and all of them if you want to stay connected to what's going on in town. And also a new episode of Hillsborough The Good Life will be released tomorrow, so be sure to check it out. Uh, both on the website and uh, available on the Hillsborough YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, um, give you a little little primer. Uh, it's it's uh, stuff about Hillsborough and the township committee are the, are the uh, the spokespeople for what's going on in town generally. But we also have some of our department heads. So if you'd like to uh, see some of the stuff that goes on uh, and learn a little bit about town that maybe you weren't aware of, please um, please check it out. We will now move on to our proclamations for this evening. Uh, we ask that after you receive your recognition, if you would resume your seat till everyone has received their proclamations, after which we'll take a brief pause. Uh, and if you would like to leave, you can. Uh, you're always, always welcome to stay. Um, so uh, if you'd like to, please stay. Um, so why don't we go to proclamations. And the first one up uh, is a proclamation honoring Hillary Scanelli for being recognized by the Somerset County Commission on the Status of Women in celebration of Women's History Month. Hillary, why don't you come on up? Whereas, Hillsborough Township President Hillary Scanelli has been recognized by the Somerset County Commission on the Status of Women in celebration of Women's History Month. 
And whereas Ms. Ginelli was honored with the Business Entrepreneurs Information Technology Award at the annual Outstanding Women in Somerset County Awards Dinner. And whereas Ms. Ginelli and her husband Michael, who's in the back back there as well, are the owners of Impact Training, where they hope to make an impact in the community that teaches health, wellness, and fitness to adults, teens, and children. Child, what did I just say? Children's? And children. <laughs> Whereas Ms. Ginelli provides sports nutritional counseling to NFL combine athletes from colleges across the country to help them meet their goals leading up to the draft. And whereas Ms. Ginelli became interested in rigorous workouts and weight training at a young age as a gymnast and cheerleader and went on to become a professional cheerleader in 1986 working for Donald Trump's New Jersey General USFL team. And whereas Ms. Ginelli is on the board of Steps Together and along with her husband Michael runs several charity events donating 100% of the proceeds to charity. And whereas Ms. Ginelli and her husband have volunteered their, coaching, their time coaching flag football with Hillsborough Junior Raiders organization where the, when their sons were younger. And Ms. Ginelli continues to provide a free annual nutritional lecture for the Junior Raider athletes, as well as the Hillsborough High School football team and the boys and girls track team. Now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, join the Somerset County Commission on the status of women in saluting Ms. Hillary Ginelli for being honored with the business Entrepreneurs Information Technology Award and thank her for her dedication and contributions to our to our community. Hillary, thank you. Um, so I've known Hillary for a long time and it's uh, it's really a pleasure to be able to provide this proclamation, but more importantly that she won the award at uh, at Somerset County. Um, I've known her personally but also through through impact and um, she made a difference for my wife and I, but um, this is well earned, very well deserved and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, I don't have a lot to say other than uh, I've been a trainer for 20 years and I was very blessed that my first job that I stayed with for a number of years, even part time, was working with athletes ranging from age five. You're just working on balance and coordination and that same facility also worked with NFL combine athletes. So it went right through the, the ages of middle school and high school. So I knew when my husband and I took a leap of faith and decided to open up our own training facility right here in Hillsboro that we wanted to give back. You know, we wanted to make sure that our kids had the advantage uh, that other kids might not have. Uh, learning how to uh, fuel their bodies for optimal performance, uh, learning proper training techniques to make them faster, make them understand that they have the power within them, believing in themselves and working hard. So we do our charity things there, yes, and we love what we do, but um, you know, our, our heart is with helping people get healthier and fit, and we absolutely love our athlete, athlete programs. So thanks for the award. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, we have uh, three award uh, presentations tonight to um, outgoing fire chiefs. So first I'd like to call up Jim Paterno. Whereas Jim Paterno, a member of the Hillsborough Township Volunteer Fire Company number two, has served the Township of Hillsborough in the capacity of fire chief for the past two years. And whereas Mr. Paterno became, the, became a volunteer fireman in July of 1983 in the Township of Montgomery. And whereas Mr. Paterno joined the Hillsborough Volunteer Fire Company number two in July of 2001, he held the position of lieutenant from 2002 through 2007, deputy chief from 2008 through 2009, Assistant Chief from 2010 through 2013, and Chief from 2014 through 2015. And whereas Mr. Paterno has continuously made sacrifices on behalf of the residents of Hillsborough Township, and whereas Mr. Paterno remains a member of the Hillsborough Township Volunteer Fire Company Number 2 as an ex-chief, now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsborough, do hereby commend Jim Paterno for his outstanding service to the Township of Hillsborough as a member of Hillsborough Township's Fire Volunteer Fire Company number two, and as an outgoing fire chief. And be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, thank Mr. Paterno for his many years of dedication and service to Hillsborough Township. Chief, congratulations.
just like to say thank you. Uh, I couldn't do it without the people uh, be behind me, underneath me, uh, who, I, who I had the privilege of commanding. Uh, as I said, it's a whole team effort, and uh, they're really the ones that deserve the, uh, deserve the credit, because without them, the job wouldn't get done. Thank you. Uh, C.J. Davis. <clears throat> Whereas C.J. Davis is a member of the Nishanik Volunteer Fire Company and served as fire chief 2014 and 2015. Whereas Mr. Davis first became a volunteer fireman for the Nishanik Volunteer Fire Company in 1999. And whereas Mr. Davis has held the following positions, Lieutenant from 2006 to 2007, Captain in 2008, and in 2009, Mr. Davis served as Assistant Chief. In 2010 through 2013, he was Deputy Chief, and in 2014, 2015, he held the position of Fire Chief. And whereas Mr. Davis is currently serving in the capacity of Assistant Chief of the uh, Nishanik Volunteer Fire Company, and whereas Mr. Davis has continuously made sacrifices on behalf of the residents of Hillsborough Township, now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsborough, do hereby commend C.J. Davis for his outstanding service, and be it further proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsborough, thank Mr. De Mr. Davis for his dedication as a member of the Nishanik Volunteer Fire Company and as an outgoing fire chief. Chief, congratulations. Um, I think... Chief Paterno said it best, it's not what we do, it's what the guys under us and our fellow officers do. Um, I want to thank them. I want to thank the fellow chiefs I worked with, uh, two of which in the room tonight, Chief Paterno and Chief Flamino. I also want to thank my family. And other than that, everyone stay safe. Christian Fulmino. Whereas Christian Fulmino, a member of the Hillsborough Township Volunteer Fire Company number three, has served the Township of Hillsborough in the capacity of fire chief from 2013 through 2015. And whereas Mr. Fulmino first became a volunteer fireman in 1988, 1998, and whereas Mr. Fulmino has held the following positions at the Hillsboro Volunteer Fire Company number three, Lieutenant 2002 through 2007, Assistant Chief 2008 through 2009, and Deputy Chief from 2010 through 2012. And whereas Mr. Fulmino has continuously made sacrifices on behalf of the residents of Hillsboro Township, and whereas Mr. Fulmino remains a member of the Hillsborough Township Volunteer Fire Company number three, currently serving as its vice president. And whereas some of, the, some of Mr. Fulmino's other certifications include firefighter number one, firefighter two, Swift Water Rescue Technician, Officer School, Vehicle Extrication Technician, and Incident Management Level three. And now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsborough, do hereby commend Mr. Fulmino for his outstanding service to the Township of Hillsborough as a member of Hillsborough Township's Volunteer Fire Company number three and as an outgoing fire chief. And be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, thank Mr. Fulmino for his many years of dedication to Hillsborough Township. Congratulations. I'd just like to thank the mayor and the township committee for the award and also the members of Hillsborough Fire Company number three for allowing me to lead them for three years. Uh, and my fellow officers who uh, made the job possible. So thank you.
I think we've all, always had great admiration for our uh, volunteer firefighters, but this year in particular, obviously with the fire we had back in February, um, brought it really to the, to the forefront. And the work that uh, all the firemen do uh, is, is something certainly worthy of being recognized, but we wanted to make sure that uh, the chiefs in particular who have uh, had that dedication to the, uh, to the firehouse and to our community that we were able to recognize them. So thank you for all being here tonight. So I'd like to call up Cindy Assini, uh, Supervisor of Reach and Social Studies, as well as uh, any of the Colonial Day teachers that are, that are here tonight. Mayor, also any of the, my department heads too that support the uh, oh, yeah, interns yeah, yeah. as and well. And any uh, the department heads that are, that are here. This is, oh, just a fifth grade, okay. Yeah, all right. Whereas, the teachers and students of Auton Road Intermediate School wish to celebrate our colonial heritage by hosting a fifth grade colonial day. And whereas the fifth graders will take part in a day of educational and creative activities representative of colonial times. And whereas the students will attend colonial activity sessions such as writing with quills, constructing whirly gigs, and I actually know what a whirly gig is, <laughs> creating wampum bracelets, making butter, and playing tabletop nine pins, checkers, and other games. And whereas the Museum of Early Trades and Crafts will give demonstrations on tin punching, colonial trades, and making, making marbles and Starbucks. And, where, where, and whereas the day will culminate with an assembly of historical songs. Now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, do hereby proclaim May 20th of 2016 as fifth grade colonial day in Hillsborough, New Jersey, and wish a great day of old time fun to the students and staff of Auton Road Intermediate School. We have two, uh, these two young ladies here are the winners of the uh, art contest related to the two Colonial Day. And first off, we have uh, Ashaya Patel. There you go. And Linda Wang. Congratulations. So we'd like to thank the township and the district for all their support of Colonial Day. Most of all, I would like to thank the teachers on the Colonial Day, on the Colonial Day Committee who volunteer countless hours of their time to put together an amazing day for the students, including the art contest that these young ladies won by drawing really great representations of colonial life. So tonight we have Mrs. Seller, Mrs. Raff, and Mrs. Cartmel, and Mr. McAvady wasn't able to join us, but if you could join me in giving them a round of applause for all their volunteer work. <laughs> at Okay, and, and uh, last but not least, we have um, certificates for uh, our REACH interns uh, who, uh, who work here in the township and support us. Um, so I, we, I think we have two of them here today, um, Monica Bielan and Nicole Levine. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It was one of our partners that uh, 
had an intern here with us and over the uh, oh. So I'd like to give a big thank you to the township for hosting the interns and for the students in participating. And especially uh, a great thanks to the department heads who spend their time working with the interns on projects that the interns are interested in. And a big thank you to Mr. Ferrara and Ms. Boric for helping the interns design programs and be placed with mentors and departments that interest them. So we really appreciate all the township's time in helping the students have an experience to grow and learn. Mayor, if I can just add to that, just uh, we have a great relationship with the school, uh, working with the students at the high school and the rigorous program that they go through. And then when uh, the students go off to college, we also bring them back again so they can have a local program here. And in certain circumstances, some of our employees here started out as interns. And uh, so it works really well between the school and the township and giving all the students an opportunity because we have almost every department here in the township that they can work under. So it helps our seasoned veterans here to get that, that youth and that, that new knowledge and then we give them an opportunity in the workplace here so when they, once they get their degree they can they have at least a good couple years experience here in the township so we appreciate uh, working with the school and the interns giving us some great time here so thank you. And one more quick thank you to the parents who came out tonight in support of their children and supported their children doing these wonderful internships so we really appreciate that the whole family was, was part of this program. Yeah, parents are certainly welcome to come up. We'll make sure we get your picture. Yeah, Pam will take care of the camera. <laughs> Okay, we have um, just one more presentation. At this time, I'd like to call up uh, David Coys, our business advocate and sustainable coordinator. We'll provide a brief overview of uh, a Rutgers Rain Garden Phase One project that we're currently undertaking uh, as part of our sustainability program here at the municipality. Thank you, Mayor, Township Committee. Good evening. Uh, just a brief overview. Back in November 2014, uh, the New Jersey Department of Environment of environmental protection uh, awarded a $175,000 grant and it was submitted by the Rutgers Cooperative Extension on behalf of the township and the intention of the funds are to be used to improve the water quality within the Royce Brook watershed and there's a number of projects that are associated with this grant and one such project is actually looking to improve water quality here at the complex and what I would like to do next to, is to introduce uh, Pat Re Rector from Rutgers Cooperative Extension and Toby Horton. Okay. And Toby Horton, uh, the landscape architect for Rutgers, from Rutgers. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Hey, Thanks for having us here tonight to present this uh, design to you. Um, if, we, if we could change to the next slide. What? There you go. You know, you said talk really close. Just talk closely to it. Uh, okay, so uh, as David mentioned, we received a, a DEP grant uh, to improve water quality and water quantity management uh, in the Royce Brook watershed. Uh, as a part of that uh, grant work, we propose to do uh, work here at the municipal complex. Uh, while our work focuses on, on rain gardens and other ways to manage stormwater, uh, our approach towards green infrastructure is to locate it within a larger thinking about uh, other issues related to the, the municipal complex. Uh, so our idea here was to create an overall 
concept master plan that could improve various aspects of the municipal complex, uh, such as uh, pedestrian experience, uh, pedestrian use of space, uh, including things such as uh, a fitness trail all around the complex. Uh, and we also envision various uh, environmental enhancements, such as uh, pollinator gardens, uh, our rain gardens, our stream corridor improvements, uh, and a part out near the front of the complex which would celebrate the agricultural history of Hillsborough using uh, uh, different and interesting plant materials from the, from the history of, uh, of Hillsborough's rich agricultural tradition. Uh, so this is just some of the larger scale thinking that we uh, put into this. Uh, but our main focus, as I said earlier, is, is the, the rain gardens or the water management uh, from this complex. So with that, we propose three to five uh, rain gardens that we are funded to install uh, in, in the complex. Uh, and we have, had go we have gone forward with the detailed design uh, of the first rain garden. And th the first rain garden uh, and associated uh, shade tree plantings uh, will be located right at the entrance to the complex. Um, this design, uh, in terms of the trees, uh, seeks to provide a grander entrance, uh, but also a more amenable uh, shaded entrance uh, for the, p the many, many visitors to this complex, uh, workers and, and visitors and library patrons alike. Um, off to the right, uh, we have the first in our series of rain gardens. Uh, a rain garden, for those who don't know, uh, is a very shallow depression in the landscape, um, technically known as a bioretention area, but it's a way to manage stormwater uh, using uh, amended soil and plants, plant materials that help infiltration uh, and also transpiration of, of the water before it, it reaches our sewer systems. Uh, so basically we're trying to uh, keep water out of the sewer uh, and delay its entrance into the sewer uh, so we have less impact on our uh, critical streams. Uh, so that's, that's what a, a rain garden does and this is the, the first of those. Uh, as you can see, winding through the rain garden will be uh, the first part of the fitness uh, and fitness ecology trail. So it will be a trail uh, where uh, workers and visitors and library patrons can, can walk around the complex, uh, uh, getting fitness, but also stopping along the way to read or just to enjoy the new environment. So you can't probably see, but you might see when we look at the rendering, uh, there are spots uh, where we can put benches uh, in, in the future after construction. Uh, and uh, construction is due to start and, and be completed uh, before our Memorial Day uh, celebration. Uh, next slide shows an uh, image of where the new trees will be located. Um, these are, are shown at a very small size, uh, as they will be when they are uh, installed, uh, but they will soon uh, grow quite quickly. And uh, th the species is a honey locust, uh, which uh, provides uh, a beautiful open form uh, with very uh, light and uh, whimsical leaves. Uh, so the shade is not overly dense, but it does provide some respite uh, for the activities that are held there. Um, the, the trees are arranged to try to give more of a, of a grand, uh, uh, more of a more grandeur to the entrance towards the building. Uh, as, as you can see, it forms a small uh, sort of corridor as you, as you look towards the uh, center of the building. Uh, next slide. Uh, this, this is a before picture, the current condition of the area where the rain garden will be installed. Uh, and uh, next slide will show is uh, an image, uh, a rendering, uh, an artist rendering of what this rain, gar rain garden will look like uh, after uh, a couple years of, of growth. At this time, I would be more than happy to take any, any questions or if, if there are any comments uh, that are appropriate at this time, I would be glad to, to field them. 
Any comments from Dash? Yes. Thank you, Mayor. I just wanted to uh, thank Toby and Pat and David uh, for obviously partnering uh, with the township. Uh, as you know, the mayor and the committee here, that this is just a continuum of our silver status uh, for sustainability. So the township, it's very important to us. So this is great that they've selected Hillsborough to partner, and we're looking for many years to partner with Rutgers, and we're just astonished and amazed that they came to us in only in a few weeks. They're going to be able to uh, yeah. to begin and, and be ready for Memorial Day, so we're thankful for that. We're delighted to partner with you as well, and have found you a very very good and amenable partner to us. Uh, and we would like to uh, emphasize that we that the master plan, the first image that I showed, uh, has uh, many ideas uh, for future collaborations. That we invite other interested parties from the township, other nonprofit groups, or under other uh, say say like the historical society or or uh, beekeepers union, uh, that, that kind of thing. Uh, any groups that are in, would be interested in partnering with us uh, to help look for and secure funding for future phases. So the, the idea of that overall master plan was to generate excitement uh, and show people that we uh, have a broad vision uh, that, that they can join us in to uh, try to secure additional funds. Yeah, and and David, uh, David's going to work going forward to see if we can secure additional grants uh, we have a meeting, I think it's actually tomorrow, uh, with the Board of Education as well, and how, we, how both the Township and the Board of Ed can work together as well. And we're, we're very appreciative of uh, the support that Rutgers gives us uh, on many different fronts, but in particular on this one, we've been looking for a project uh, for this grant, and this is really something that I think will benefit the complex here. Uh, but as you noted, it does give an opportunity for us to, to create opportunities for things like uh, Eagle Scout projects or Gold Award projects for, uh, for our scouts that are always looking for different projects, whether it's uh, putting in uh, benches or creating uh, some of the pathways or, or other trails that are going to be part of this. Uh, it'll be an ongoing project that will continue for, for some years, but it'll really uh, add to the uh, aesthetics of the complex, but also give, uh, give opportunities to a number of our of our organizations here in town. So thank you for that. We appreciate the work. And uh, I very much look forward to seeing it uh, in advance of our uh, Memorial Day festivities. So a lot of work in the next two weeks, but yes. uh, we're, we're confident we're going to get there. So thank you very much. Very good, Mayor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, as I promised, uh, with that, I will allow you the opportunity to go. We'll take a short break if you'd like to leave. Um, by all means, please stay. It's <laughs> scintillating stuff, but uh, you're welcome to go. So thank you very much, and uh, congratulations to all our, our recipients tonight. Thank you. Okay, um, next on our agenda, we have no new business this evening, so we'll move to public comment on new business and matters not on tonight's agenda. Anyone that has... Uh, comment on any matters that are not on tonight's agenda, please come forward now. Okay, seeing none, uh, we do not have any public hearings this evening, so we'll move on to introduction of new ordinances. First up is 2016 07, an ordinance amends Chapter 117 of the Code of the Township of Hillsborough titled Animals, Article 3 titled Licensing of Dogs, Dog Warden. Further consideration of this ordinance and a public hearing will be held on June 14, 2016. The Hillsborough Board of Health is concerned over the, that the past two years, almost 25% of the dogs involved in bites or encounters with wildlife have not been up to date with their rabies vaccinations. This is particularly concerning because rabies, a deadly disease, is now present in all wildlife in all of New Jersey. We need to make sure that the dogs remain protected from rabies, especially to prevent transmission to people. The Health Department has been working with the Certified Animal Control Officers at, of St. Hubert's Geralda to canvas sections of Hillsborough for unlicensed dogs and issue warnings to residents to vaccinate and license their dogs. The New Jersey Department of Health requires that dogs be licensed annually in the state as well. The fine now appears in our ordinance and, can, and this fine can be paid without a court appearance. However, it allows the animal control officer to request a court appearance if the individual does not license their dog after being directed to do so. The ordinance also includes a requirement that anyone with five or more dogs must obtain a shelter license from the Board of Health and it includes a requirement for a $700 per year licensing fee for the dog declared potentially dangerous in municipal court. This is, these are both important steps to protect the health of Hillsborough residents. 
May I have a motion to introduce this ordinance? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Committee Member Schutz. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sirachi. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. Move to considerations. Consideration number one is a resolution authorizing the award of a contract for the purchase of one used bucket truck to Haynesport. Uh, award of two Haynesport Enterprises Inc. in an amount not to exceed $59,995. The township sought bids and received one sealed bid for a newer used bucket truck for maintenance and/or removal of trees. One bid was received from Haynesport Enterprises Inc. It is determined by the qualified purchasing agent that Haynesport Enterprises is the lowest responsible bidder and recommends the award of this contract. Funding for this is through our tree mitigation fund. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Mayor Rochette? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Delcor? I was just on comments. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, any comments from the floor? Seeing none, now roll call, please. <laughs> I know you're anxious to, to move the process along. Um, can we shots? I don't know now. <laughs> yes. Can I have a comment now? No. no. Comment. Yes. And Mayor Delcourt. Yes. Thank you. Now we'll move to, to our consent agenda. Can I have a motion to approve tonight's consent agenda? So moved. Second. Comments from Adeus? Just want to point out a couple of events that are coming up on these items here. Um, on July 23rd, with the rain day July 24th, uh, there's going to be a uh, the San Juan Conservancy Musical Festival. Uh, it's going to be held on those dates. Um, the Hillsboro Hop, which the mayor, I believe, you had mentioned earlier in your comments, on June 4th, it's a 5K road race. And then the following weekend, on June 11th, there's another 5K run walk uh, that's going to be held by St. Joseph's Parish. Thank you. Anything else from the, from the dais? From the floor? Roll call, please. Mayor Yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Yes. Can I have a motion to approve claims list 2016-09? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. This concludes our regular meeting this evening. Uh, we do have an executive session. Ms. Borak, will you please uh, read the executive resolution? Where is Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, prevents the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances? And whereas the Township Committee is of the opinion that such circumstances exist. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Township Committee, the Township of Hillsborough, and the County of Somerset, State of New Jersey, as follows. Number one, the public shall be excluded from the discussion of the here and after, after specified subject matters. Number two, the general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is as follows. One, personnel, Larry McLean. Number three, the Township Committee may take official action on those items discussed in the executive session upon the completion of the executive session. Number four, the minutes of the discussion shall be made available to the public as soon as the matters under discussion are no longer of a confidential or sensitive nature. And number five, this resolution shall take effect immediately. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Mayor Burchette? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. Thank you. Uh, that concludes our meeting, our, our regular meeting tonight. We're now going to move into executive session. Thank you and good night.